So in doing this problem here, we have to recognize that this little notation there, x the dot, means dx dt. And so we know dx dt is x cosine t is my angle, and then this whole thing is multiplied by e to the minus sine t. And that's what we have to realize, and this is up top. And we know we're doing calculus, so our calculator has to be in radian mode. So in doing this, I the, uh, the variables are messing me up a little bit because like t is typically like in the x position and the x is typically in the y position. So like typically we think about functions as x, y. Well, here it's going to be t comma x where um, time is independent. So it's a little bit tricky to get your head around just because it's breaking kind of like our traditional intuition of rules with x and y. So when we actually are going to do this, using Euler's formula, we know that Euler's formula says yn equals yn minus 1 plus h. And then it says fxn minus 1 comma yn minus 1. I know this here is the derivative. So y is like x here, so I know it's xn equal to xn minus 1 plus h, and then this is the derivative, so it's xn minus 1 cosine tn minus 1 times e to the minus sine tn minus 1. Now even, th and then uh, for t of n will be t n minus 1 plus h. And I'm going to put this into my calculator. The tricky thing though, we have to remember that this is like our x and this is our y. And so in terms of the sequences on our calculator, it really means that this is v and this is u. So I'm going to rewrite it actually on the page as I want to write it. So I will go un will equal to un minus 1 plus 0 0.1, which is my step. It says the step is here. And vn is equal to vn minus 1 plus 0 0.1 is my h times vn minus 1 cosine un minus 1 e to the sine un minus 1. And so this is what I want to type into my calculator. I And if you look across here on the actual calculator, that is what I've written. Even though it's really hard to show, notice my n min is 1, my u min is 0 and my v min is 1 over e, which is here. And so when I go to my table, I can see the values here. And 0 0.3 is going to be this one there is my answer for 0 0.3 when t is 0 0.3. And so I will show on my calculator, I will show that n is 1, I get t sub n, which is 0, and I get x sub n, which I know is 1 over e. And then I can say, in my case, I have uh, 4, 4 gives me 0 0.3 and 0 0.47655, which is my answer. Going to B part now. Going to B part, if I take this information and I work on it down here. Mm 
Okay, so I'm going to take this, recognizing this is dx dt, which is x cosine t e to the minus sine t. I'm going to divide by x, so 1 over x dx equals multiply by dt, so cosine t e to the minus sine t dt. And I'm going to integrate both sides. So this is ln x. Well, here I can do a u substitution. So u is going to be minus sine t. So du will be minus cosine t dt. And so then I can say this is minus e to the negative sine t plus c, and I'm solving for, so from here, I'm actually going to substitute in this value then, so if ln1 over e equals negative e to the minus sine 0 plus c, well, this thing here is equal to negative 1, which, and this one here is equal to negative 1 plus c, so c equals 0. And so then I can say ln x is equal to e negative, negative sine t, x is equal to e to the negative e to the negative sine t. I plug in the value for t equals 0 0.3. And if I go here, uh, call it back, I was almost correct what I typed in on my own for a bit there, but if I delete that, this is 0 0.47514. And I'm gonna do percent error, I have this value. If you don't get the values from the table, that means you typed something in here incorrectly, and it could be as simple as you miss a plus sign, something really small. My guess is you forgot to switch. These are v's, and then inside cosine is u's, and inside this is also a u as well. That's my best guess.